Hey everyone, Zef here, and welcome to Compound Overview. At this point, I don't know what number is on this video, but we have like six releases in one day, which is crazy. When I said December was always busy, oh, I was not joking at all. <laughs> Apparently, this is like a legend in the VR community, something that's very unique on its own, and like tons of people enjoyed it so far, so hopefully it's gonna bring it. So Compound is a randomly generated roguelite action game where you're thrown into a retro styled environment with deadly enemies coming in various shapes and forms trying to stop you from reaching the corporation. For some reason on the quest platform by default pixelated stuff and just retro are very well received like so far every single experience of that kind was like a top tier. Compound entering the store is very unique in a way that it uses an unusual art style but very highly polished just looking at the trailer to the point that many high fidelity games that I've seen so far have never used complicated mechanics like that. It seems to be advertised for virtual reality veterans so I think we're falling under that. It's just so interesting that everything they present is so detailed like it's kind of crazy like the customizations, the features. Sometimes I wonder because of the graphics like that is that the sole reason why they can push the system to its limits and just throw in every single thing possible. It's looking to be a very good release overall, so let's jump into the compound. <laughs> oh wow. Wait, actually, no, I need a smooth locker. This is so cool. Like the whole world, and just like. Wow. <laughs> this is like graphics on steroids, even though it's pixelated. Trophies, uh, we could be unlocking a minigun depending on the score we do. Oh, there's like an overheating stuff. Oh, here we go, okay. Oh, the weaponry. Where do I have those? Do I have ammo here? Oh. Cool. Oh my god, there's just gonna be so much happening that... Uh... Let's start. Um, I, pff, I don't know, if it's hardcore, should I take medium? Yeah, because I'm a hardcore. <laughs> Mutation dispenser. I guess a modifications for the runs. This is like a roguelite, so yeah. Genome repair showers. Removes... <laughs> Hilarious. Emergency for who? Oh. This really reminds me of... Um... Oh my god, I keep forgetting names of the games while I'm playing. We have also a map. I guess this is to just help us out. Oh my god. Public executions. Every Tuesday. Oh wow. Wait, his movement was so smooth. Three reloads. Oh, a bonuses. Wait, I thought the sprites would be like slow. But <laughs> the pipe. What? Oh 
those pistols are not that strong, so need to be careful. This is health, I'm assuming. Like, things are interactable. That's crazy. Uh -huh. Oh, we've seen this. Okay. So it's not like we have to discover every tile. Hello? I love the interactivity. Oh, there is an ammo count. Ah. Do we have like holsters? Oh, it's in the holster. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it's a saving method. No, no, let's go back. <laughs> Is it uh, cleared? Oh, no, it's the second stage. Oh, what the hell? I need a normal firearm as well. Cause if there's ammo then... Oh. <laughs> Damn, I need to like drop things. Toilet? So we need to clear everything in order to progress further. Oh, that's also nice that it shows you what to collect. Though I'm not sure what are those blinking points. I want to reload like in the other games. Oh, we can hide the weaponry. Oh, <laughs> the health point system is point based. I hear something. <laughs> That's what they meant. That it's hardcore. Oh, it shows me that. Oh, wow, what the hell? Damn. <laughs> and we're back in the menu menu. <laughs> Let's do easy then. Jesus. It's not hard. It's just a tutorial for me. <laughs> And we're back in the sewers. I mean, we'll play a bit more, but I guess I know the gist of it. <laughs> Join the corpse or be a corpse. 
I do wish we would have coasters. It doesn't seem like we have though. Ah, we collect ammo based on what we have. That's cool. I think this is an indicator that there are enemies in that direction. Okay, well I get it. Concept-wise and just the features going on and everything, absolutely love it. There are definitely certain stuff that could be upgraded, like I mentioned with the holsters or just the comfortability of the gameplay. But besides that, this is really good. It's very intuitive, like easy to learn but hard to master. However hard you want it to be, it's gonna be like that. It's like the very core heart of roguelites, like with the progression, unlocking stuff, very retro. Is it something that we'll continue doing? <laughs> we'll have to see, maybe on the easy difficulty. And when I actually <laughs> have time to do it. I also love that the environment is interactable, like it does not feel dead much alive. There were definitely some thought process going into this game, for sure. Like, see? Stuff is happening. Very glad it's on the quest store now, because it clearly deserves attention. And let's see how it's gonna evolve in the future. 